Welcome back gamers, it's The Natural. A leaked video from Sony's recent investor corporate strategy meeting has given us a first look at a game running on PS5 hardware. And it's all about processing power and super fast loading. The game in question is a PS4 title, Spider-Man, with the video cutting back and forth between PS4 Pro footage of the game and work in progress video of the same title running on next generation hardware. The difference is significant to say the least. As you can see for yourself in the video, loading that takes over 8 seconds on PS4 Pro takes under a second on next generation hardware that will make up the PS5. Now if you've been following the PS5 hype and I've done a video on this previously you would know this matches up with the technical details that were provided by Mark Cerny in an interview with Wired Magazine. In that interview we learned about PS5 support for ray tracing and 8K HDTV resolution, but also its boost to loading speeds across the board. And this is the aspect that Sony showed off to investors at this event. Also, it was announced that Sony has formed a partnership with Microsoft on development of cloud solutions, including game streaming services. Now, Stadia from Google was announced earlier this year, so this sets a game of consoles. So, who will rule the future cloud based gaming world? Who knows? Have more details on that. Sony's next gen console will release sometime after April 2020. Check out my previous video on the PS5, I will link it below. And moving right along, EA and DICE have released some videos showcasing new hair rendering techniques that have been implemented in the Frostbite engine. As the publisher noted, its goal is to produce realistic, real time hair results you will only see from CG in movies, and the results are impressive. These videos give a glimpse into how Frostbite Power games will look like as EA and DICE will aim to provide these new hair rendering techniques in their upcoming next generation games. The videos show dynamic changes to hair melanin and smoothness and dynamic change in artificial coloring of the hair as well as the volume of it. EA and DICE will release more videos these upcoming weeks regarding next generation capabilities of the Frostbite engine so stay tuned. Looks really good, graphics look good. I don't think EA's problem has ever been graphics. So will these help them make better games? I guess we'll see. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the PS5 news as well as some of the graphics that we see from the Frostbite engine, new hair rendering techniques and how that will, if you believe, improve their games in the future. So let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more news from all your favorite sports games and the PS5 here SGL. This is the natural. I'm out.